In contrast to comparable programs in various European countries such as Malta, Spain, Belgium, Switzerland, Latvia, Greece and Italy, Portugal's regulations do not outline specific minimum investment figures for D2 visa applications. This often leads to inquiries regarding the feasibility of lower investment sums for obtaining the D2 visa. Let's delve into accessible data on past approvals and trends to assess practical minimum benchmarks. To address the frequent inquiries from potential D2 visa applicants about the adequacy of a €30,000 investment, I have produced this video to provide clear insights into Portugal's investment requirements and to offer a comprehensive response to this commonly asked question. Additionally, I will delve into historical approval records and prevailing trends to assess attainable minimum standards. I go by the name Farouk Dahl, and I am an attorney with a background as the former Assistant Attorney General for Pakistan. I currently hold the position of President Partner at Trek Law LLP, a renowned law firm specializing in business and immigration law. The law does not define specific minimums. Portugal's Foreigner's Law under Article 60A covers the eligibility and criteria for the D2 visa. However, the law does not prescribe fixed minimum values for capital investments. It provides flexibility to immigration authorities to assess each application based on merit and expected economic utility for the nation. For an in-depth explanation of this topic, please see the first video in this series where I cover this in full detail. SEF operates on internal guidelines. In the absence of codified laws, Portugal's immigration services, SEF seem to work with internal benchmarks when evaluating D2 visa proposals. Per market practice, these unofficial investment minimums appear to be 250,000 euros, 500,000 euros capital for setting up new companies in Portugal, 350,000 euros, 500,000 euros for purchase of existing Portuguese businesses, but these ranges serve more as loose reference points rather than as rigid cutoff thresholds for acceptance. SEF can make exceptions when warranted. Successful D2 visa bids with investments below Portugal's average. For example, a UK investor got SEF's green light with a 150,000 euros resort development project in an underdeveloped region. Another applicant from China was approved with a 200,000 euros tech startup in Lisbon highlighting job creation. A Russian entrepreneur received a D2 visa with a 150,000 euros medical equipment supply startup in Lisbon. Though below the guideline, he showed strong expertise and an impressive client pipeline. Another applicant from Brazil got approval with 180,000 euros capital for an auto components factory in southern Portugal, given the job's impact in the struggling region. A Dubai-based investor was granted D2 visa through a 220,000 euros purchase of a stalled hospitality project in Elvas. His redevelopment proposal resonated despite being under typical share acquisition benchmarks. An Indian couple got CEF's endorsement with a 240,000 euros technology-focused B&B in Porto. Their specialized concept catering to digital nomads clinched the strategic advantage. Here are a few examples of D2 visa applications that were approved with minimum investment amounts by demonstrating strong potential. A French entrepreneur received approval with a €150,000 investment for a bike-sharing startup based in Lisbon. The environmental benefits and focus on tourism swayed SEF despite the lower capitalization. An investor from Turkey was granted a D2 visa through acquiring a 30% stake in a family-owned bakery in Porto for €110,000. His proposal to expand exports convinced SEF of economic utility. A Russian applicant got the green light with a €200,000 renovation project for a historic building in an underdeveloped area. The commitment to revitalize local heritage was seen positively. A Venezuelan businesswoman was approved with a €180,000 smart home technology company in Braga focused on elderly care solutions. The social impact potential mattered more than amount. An Indian investor purchased an olive grove in the Alentejo region for €175,000 with plans for modernization and export growth. This got SEF's endorsement despite being under most benchmarks. 
a biotech entrepreneur from Canada received D2 visa approval through a 160,000 euros lab startup in Lisbon that promised specialized diagnostic services. The common thread is delivering on aspects like job creation, innovation, exports or revitalization that benefit Portugal's economy. With sound business plans, investors can often obtain visas even with lower capital investments. In summary, SCF decides D2 eligibility based on proposed economic utility rather than rigid investment thresholds. Showcasing serious commitment and a viable plan aligned to Portuguese interests is key. SEF wants to be sure the investment actively aids national progress. In essence, promising ventures with sound execution plans get SEF's green light even with investments below loose expected ranges. Portugal rewards value over quantity if you demonstrate a long-term commitment. Lower amounts can be considered with strong business plans. SEF may approve investment amounts below those general guidelines if an applicant makes a compelling case through their business plan. Proposals as low as €150,000 have received visas when they offer differentiated value propositions showing strong potential, but approvals below €100,000 are rare and dependent on significant merits. Priority sectors like technology, e-commerce, research, creative industries or projects with regional development impact may have better chances with lower capital. Sole investment of €30,000. Extremely unlikely to succeed. Many prospective applicants ask if they can meet the requirements for a D2 visa in Portugal with a lower capital investment of around €30,000. While SEF does have discretion to waive unofficial benchmarks with proper justification, an investment of just €30,000 by itself has negligible probability of meeting visa eligibility. This amount is simply too low compared to common accepted levels. Unless complemented by other major strengths, a token investment of €30,000 is not considered substantial enough by SEF to grant visa. Combining with other applicants to meet higher collective threshold could improve viability. In the next episode, brace yourself for a journey into the dynamic realm of e-commerce investment opportunities in Portugal.